So I see that you traded in Squatch. What did you get? What did you upgrade to? haulers and we're going to be processing some meat birds. I think they have about 50 meat birds we're going to be working on today. So why don't you guys join me and let's go get started. Got the ice bath going. Got the ice. We put a little ACV in there. Yeah. You guys saw that? Yeah. It, uh, it's just one of those things like add a little bit of apple vinegar to help keep stuff clean. Mm -hmm. uh, we've never had a problem, you know, knock on wood. But a good practice. Yep, can't be too clean. Nope. We are getting set. We're just waiting for the water to to heat up to between 150 and 160. Uh, what we have is stations. So got the kill stations, the kill cones, the scalder, the plucker, the evisceration station and then the ice baths. And we also have a sink for cleaning. And one last very important item we have is a fan. Blow some nice air out here for the humidity. It makes a huge difference. And leave it up to Ben to make up his own little fan. It works quite well. <laughs> it down here is dripping on this pulley okay. and it's caused the belt to start slipping so I'm scooting the motor tightening up the pulley the belt I'm learning as we go yep. the, uh, the problems of building stuff yourself sometimes stuff can happen like that I think that's probably as far over as it's gonna want to go that's a bummer it needs to go over a little bit more, and I think I'm maxed out in the slots. The motor's working great. There's a two horsepower motor. Everything's working good. I just don't have enough adjustment on the belt to tighten it. I'm going to pull the motor off uh -huh. and make those holes make those. in the slots. Oh, there you go. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, you need it back out. Yeah. Go to work. How much? Yeah, that's a lot tighter. Isn't that's it? a lot tighter. That's great. It'll probably still slip once it starts getting water on it. Uh huh. We have two more chicken trackers tractors to go. It's not going as smoothly today as it has in the past, partially because of the plucker. We needed to re-tension the belt on it, so we just finished that, and we're back in business. I've met a new friend today. Her name is Amanda. And she has a YouTube channel. It's The Beals. How do you spell Beal? Uh, B-E-A-L-L-E-S. Glad I asked. <laughs> and you've been doing this a long time, right? This isn't new to you, processing this, chickens? This isn't new, no. Yeah. I wouldn't say a long time. A long time, okay. <laughs> Not like a whole life or anything. Maybe about five, ten years. This is like your, what, third time? With you guys. Uh, this is second time with you, yeah. First time was Justin's yeah. in a workshop. Okay. Uh, did I help somebody else out? I, feel I like don't know. Yeah, no, just, just a few. Same 
but it, you know, it's like riding a bike. You yeah. learn it, and then it's right. You yeah. just keep going. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. What do you do with all these feathers? I take these and I put them in the middle of a nice hot compost pile. Uh, the last batch we did, I dug into the compost pile about three weeks, probably about three. Uh, and all of the feathers were completely gone. Really? Yep. That fast? Yeah. As How long, hot was the compost? Uh, like 165. Okay. I uh, experimented trying to get a hot compost pile going, and I got it to hold a, at least 160 degrees for two months. Wow. There wasn't a whole lot left to that pile once it was done. Yeah. Wow. And we're going to be dumping the, the blood yep. in the compost, the same pile. Yep. Is that a contributing factor to, yep. to all this? The blood basically is just pure nitrogen. Okay. So it supercharges the, uh, the compost pile. Okay. So you put it all in the center? Yep. You don't spread it around? Not this stuff. I want this stuff to be at the center and I want it to get as hot as possible so it breaks it down. Okay. These bigger feathers don't break down as fast, Yeah. but most of this is all wet. So chances are it'll break down pretty quick. Okay, and does the blood then go on top of it? Yep. Nobody wants to see that. Now, do you add anything on top of it or just let it be? Uh, this weekend, I'll mow again and I'll have more grass. Yeah. And then we're kind of in the process of pulling stuff out of the garden. So, like this stuff, this was all amaranth. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just keep piling stuff on, have our green, our brown, whatever we got. And then I like to seal it with grass. You, uh, you can actually put, like I've put a groundhog in a compost pile before. There's one that- uh, What? Like a whole? A whole groundhog. <laughs> and it was out there on the road stinking. Yeah. And so I went and scooped it up, did the same thing, put it in the middle of a compost pile. As soon as it was covered in grass, you couldn't smell yeah. it. Yeah. And I don't know, within a week, I checked, I was curious. I was like, how come it doesn't stink? I started looking in there, I couldn't find it. Nothing got it. I did find the bones. Yeah. It just dissolved. Wow. It's that's, crazy. That's amazing. Okay, now that we're done processing all of the chickens, our next our next task is we're gonna go ahead and piece them. Uh, the haulers have decided that they don't want to keep any of the chickens whole. They have plenty of whole chickens. So we're gonna go and break them down into their individual pieces. Which pieces are you cutting? We're taking thighs, wings, and breasts. And Amanda wanted some of the carcasses. And what are you going to use the carcasses for, Amanda? Yeah. And I heard that you don't take the feet. You don't do the legs and the feet. <laughs> no. no. And no necks. Are you a little goat? I have some in the freezer right now. Did you end up, ever end up eating those hearts? I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I will. I will. At some point. Will you? Are like, you sure? Like we deliver. I have no problem. You know what you could do is if Katie and I come over for dinner, you could do them then. You, you could do go. them and then. You could eat them. If and I, don't. I will eat them. <laughs> okay. I may eat all of them. That's okay. Because Katie won't have any of them. Yeah, I. No, she, she, I have no problem eating liver like the day. I make cutty all the time. Uh, but I don't know about the hearts. Just the whole thing. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> yeah, they don't really pop. I mean, I guess they could pop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh? You can see the shade of the of the meat. It looks a little blue and green. It it's not actually blue and green. It's because we have this tarp up here. It's giving it a nice tint. So don't don't you worry. We don't have colored chicken. <laughs> You traded in Squatch. What did you get? What did you upgrade to? Oh, this is a, I don't even know what this is. A Ford Focus? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a little, uh, <laughs> it's a little cramped. Like my knees are touching the steering wheel. <laughs> We're gonna pull this down there and grab all the chicken and yeah. 
that way we can drive it up instead of carry it up but wow I haven't been in a car this small in a long time. It looks good on you. <laughs> I'll meet you down there. All right. That was a good idea, Nate. Yep. What's the saying? Every now and then a blind squirrel finds a nut. <laughs> Wait, so what are you saying? <laughs> I don't think that's what you intended. Maybe that's not the right saying. <laughs> I think Ben just called me dumb. Sorry, a little bit of my uh, past life was coming out. I don't know why it, you bring it out. Yeah. You come around, I want to start talking smack. <laughs> I bring out the best in people. How many chickens did we process? 56. Was it 56? Uh, Where's the paper? I don't know. 57. 57. That's pretty wow. good. That is really good. Yeah. What's the most you guys have processed in a single 74 Holy. yeah i was gonna say like we we beat the record but not even no, close no. <laughs> no, we've, done, we've done 74 before that was a lot wow that was yeah a lot, but we did pretty good today yeah. yeah today wasn't too bad it was just hot just hot, just hot. very you very see hot the camera yeah say hi say hi youtube <laughs> she's all about her reflection ah uh, okay oh she's she's got the look yeah you got it you tired you ready for a nap mama's ready for a nap too it's okay we'll take a nap yeah, there you go. You're a spaz. <laughs> yes, you're silly. So I don't know who made out better uh, them by having help or me by getting some bacon out of this. <laughs> Meg has generously given us some bacon from the pork or from their from their pigs last yes. time, right? Yep. Yes, from our last round of pigs. This will so. be the first time that I've had bacon off of a homesteaders oh yeah. nice i know well then we definitely gotta hook you up yeah, yeah. that's awesome <laughs> yeah. so cool well thank you for yeah, yeah. We we welcome your help. always fun so i always enjoy it. it despite the hard work yeah, yeah. No, it was it was a struggle today oh having to like stop and fix the plucker and all that it was just like yeah. it was gonna take all day at this rate yeah, yeah. yeah. worked out yeah. it was all right yep. okay. Good. Thank you. all right thanks well again. everybody thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye, bye.